In this video, we are heading to our favorite place on this trip, Bend, Oregon. We are Janelle and Mike. We sold our house to travel full time. After huge health scares, we realized that life is too short not to do what you love, and we love traveling and creating videos. And our doodle Kaya is coming with us too. Super pretty through here. And I believe we're in the Umpqua National Forest. The trees live in a group here in the midst of the lava flow. This stump is connected with the tree next to it, therefore it is still alive. We went to Crater Lake next, but unfortunately it is still against the law to post our footage here. So instead, we will show you some beautiful photos. This place was absolutely unreal. The depth and the sheer magnificence of it is hard to capture. The three of us sat and enjoyed it for a very long time. You get some nice photos of Mount Theiston. Theiston? Theiston? We will find out. Tell them what happened in the bathroom. Bees, lots of bees we attacked me in the bathroom. We stopped at a rest stop and he opened the bathroom and there were a ton of bees. Don't go to that last rest stop. I don't know which one it is, but don't go there. There's On the bees. way to Mount Thiessen. We're almost to Diamond Lake. So we are currently in Diamond Lake. We're gonna get a viewpoint here in a moment. We're getting Kaya out of the car real quick. It is really peaceful out here. A lot less touristy than Crater Lake. Very quiet. From an invasive species killing off the rainbow trout to boats purposely poisoning the lake, Diamond Lake has been through quite a bit over the years. Today, however, it has been nearly returned to its natural state with plenty of fish to catch and campgrounds for those wanting to stay a while. After a very long day of sightseeing, we made it to our hotel in Bend. We chose the Element Hotel, which is right next to stunning Pioneer Park. Okay, you're just looking out the window. See anything exciting out there? Hmm? We even got a view of the park from our window, which Kaya clearly loved. To finish the night, we walked down to Bend Brewing Company to enjoy the sunset.
Hello, what kind of beer did you get? A vacation hazy something or other IPA. And you got some sort of amber something or other. Oh, nice. And where are we? Bend Brewing Company in Bend, Oregon. With a beautiful view of the lake. Yeah, you're super pretty out here. You're super pretty. Your beard is getting long. Yes, ma'am. Kaya decided that she wanted to go back to bed this morning, so she's currently under the covers, sleeping very comfortably. Just staying in bed today, huh? Hoping somebody brings you breakfast soon? Yeah? Mm -hmm. The next day, we headed out to explore different parts of the city. First, we stopped at Drake Park, which includes a half-mile riverfront, places to have picnics, and plenty of paved walking paths. Next, we checked out some of the shops in downtown Bend. Near our hotel, there is Silver Moon Brewing Company, which features several food trucks, amazing art murals, events such as comedy, trivia, and music, and of course, great beer. So we're at Silver Moon Brewery. It's also past closing time. Everyone closes at nine. What kind of beer? I don't remember. Oh. You had asked me if it was when I got it, I would have. That was more than six minutes ago. The Old Mill District is a beautiful part of Bend that is best known for the three smokestacks that rise above the REI building. We are at the Old Mill District and we are getting ready to just walk around. They have a lot of chain stores in the Park Mill area. Putting Kaya's booties on because it's a little bit warm out. Also keeps her feet cleaner. Of course, you look stylish. Stylish. Yeah. These are salt socks or lava socks. Same thing, same brand. This was originally the Brooks Scanlon Mill B building built in 1923. Bend was the king of timber production during that time. After walking around, we drove the Pilot Butte State Park and Viewpoint to get a better view of Bend. For our last brewery in Bend, we tried Worthy Brewing Company. They even have little chickens, supposedly. How cute. I don't know where they are. They have all these organic gardens. The brewery is solar powered with sustainable farming and a hop observatory, which is a research grade telescope. On the next episode of It's Time to Run, we go to the last blockbuster. Stepping back in a time yes, warp. It, it's making my brain glitch. And we explore Pioneer Park. 
Thank you for being here. Please give us a quick thumbs up and subscribe because it really supports our channel.